Atlantic Broadband Cable in cooperation with the South Union Township Supervisors presents the South Union Township Sports Network. Today, I'm Nick Archeg, alongside Jerry Dupe. We welcome you aboard for today's two youth basketball games. They'll be in the fifth and sixth grader division. The South Union Township Sports Network coverage is brought to you as a joint cooperative venture featuring Township Supervisors Bob Schiffbauer, Rick Vernon, and Jason Scott, Atlantic Broadband Cable, Armstrong Cable, and CUTV with Gary Smith. Once again, I'm Nick Barcheg alongside Jerry Dupay. We'll be back with the first game after this message right here on the South Union Township Sports Network. Esophageal reflux affects 20% of Americans and can lead to heartburn, regurgitation, chest pain, and difficulty swallowing. Reflux is caused by stomach contents passing a faulty valve and entering the esophagus. Ulcers and precancerous tissue can then form. Doctors Ruth Hart, Calabrese, Stokes, and Ballou offer the latest testing and treatment for reflux disease. SWGI, Specialists in Digestive Health. At what point did everything change? When did service get taken out of service industries? It's too bad, because people are busy these days, at life, at work, at play. When it comes to your hard-earned money, you want service, real service, from a person you know and a face you trust. At a bank where changing with the times doesn't mean leaving people behind. We're proud to be a part of your community. We're United Bank, at your service. Chessler's Furniture at 601 Pittsburgh Street, Uniontown has been in business since 1950 and has a wide variety of furniture for all of your needs. At Chessler's, they have a wide assortment of living room recliners, kitchen sets, bedroom mattresses and accessories that can decorate your home for years to come. Shoes for many companies including Lazy Boy, Best, King Hickory, Hammery, Lancer, Wildwood, Von Bassett and White Dove. Chessler's also services what they sell. Stop into Chessler's Fine Furniture, Route 51 north of Uniontown, and see Kim, Christy, Ted, and Rich. They'll be happy to help you with all of your needs. Chessler's Furniture, where customers send their friends. And welcome back here on the South Union Township Sports Network. 
Nick Barczyk and Jerry Dupay alongside for some youth basketball. Fifth and sixth grade action. We have the blue team taking on the yellow team. So we get you set for the first of two fifth and sixth grade games. We'll give you the rosters for these two teams here. First of the blue squad, we have Nate Schwertfeger, Carson Scott, CJ Gesk, Logan Halton, Connor Kalich, Devin Kravoski, and Owen Reed for the blue team. And for the yellow team, Carter Rosendale, Mikey Bittner, Billy Barton, Aiden Barton, Nico Vecchiola, and Paxton Patronus. Here on the South Union Township Sports Network. Fifth and sixth grade basketball action, yellow versus blue. 11 minutes on the clock for the first half, ready to go with this one from the rec center. And in the center circle is Vecchiola and Kravoski. And the tip controlled by the yellow team and we're underway. That one goes into the backcourt and knocked out of bounds over to blue. So 13 seconds in. Yellow team wins the tap and turns it over to blue. And here is Gesk. Bounce pass is stolen away by Vecchiola, who brings it up over the timeline. Goes baseline on the left block, and his layup no good. Battle for the loose ball, a jump ball. Over to the blue team. Here's Gesk. That pass swatted away by Vecchiola. Inbound pass to Kravoski. That one ends up short. That shot a little short by Nate Schwartfiger. Here's yellow in transition. Mikey Bittner. Bittner tries to go baseline and the shot is good but it travel before the shot and go over to blue. 9.45 left on the first, still scoreless. Point guard for the blue team is CJ Gesk. He brings it up. Fine short figure. Pass down low to Kravoski. That shot is off the mark. Offensive rebound, good save. Kravoski back up top to Gesk. In the corner to Carson Scott. Swung back out to Gesk. Scott goes baseline. Tries to throw up a layup, and he does, and he's fouled in the process. And he was shooting, so he'll shoot two. Look at the foul on Billy Barton. And two shots coming for the blue team and Carson Scott. First shot gets the bank to go off the glass there. Bank open here. One nothing. Second shot on the way off the back iron. No good. Offensive rebound put back. No good. So one of two makes it one nothing blue. And... Is Vecchiola. Off to Carter Rosendale. Back to Billy Barton. Swung over to Aiden Barton. Double team in the corner. Barton off to Vecchiola. That shot no good. And almost saved, but not quite, and over to blue. Yeah. 
Kravoski back to Gisk. That jumper is on the way, no good. And the rebound grabbed by the yellow team and up over the timeline is Carter Rosendale. Off to Barton and a double dribble called. So the blue team has the basketball with a one nothing lead after a uh, free throw was made earlier. Eight minutes to go in the first. Guess with the ball takes a three. His toes just beyond the arc. No good. Rebound Kravoski, but it's taken away by the yellow team. And in transition comes Carter Rosendale. Off to Vecchiola, but it's stolen away by Devin Kravoski from behind. Blue team with the ball again. Gesk to the basket and knocked away by Vecchiola, who gets called for the foul. Looked like all ball from here, but made some contact, and the foul goes on Nico Vecchiola. CJ Gesk to shoot two. First shot, no good. Here's a second. That one is good. Nothing but net by C.J. Gaskin. Two trips to the foul line for the blue team, Scott and Gesk, each one of two. That makes the score 2 nothing blue. Yellow basketball up top to Rosendale. Holton, or check that, we have Billy Barton. Shot no good, rebound controlled by Billy Barton. Another offensive rebound for Yellow, good job by Paxton Patronus. Launches the three. That one no good, short out of bounds to Blue. Gesk taking the three there and coming up just a little bit short is Scott. Battle for the loose ball goes to, I believe the uh, yellow team will get possession, but we have a timeout first on the floor with 6.31 to go before halftime. Blue team leads the yellow team 2-0 back with more action here, fifth and sixth grade basketball on the South Union Township Sports Network. Fayette Furnace Company, established in 1920 with over 100 years of combined experience in the industry. They are employee owned and operated. They take pride in solving your home heating and air conditioning needs. They are the area's oldest and most reliable HVAC contractor. They specialize in creating quality energy saving comfort for your home by using the most advanced technology in the industry. Along with the Carrier Corporation, Fayette Furnace can put together a system to improve your comfort, save you money on energy consumption, and improve any deficiencies in your existing system. They specialize in green speed inverter technology and split systems, ductless split units, zoning, radiant heat, boilers, hot water tanks, tankless water heaters, and many more applications. Call the Fayette Furnace Company today at 724-438-5400. That's 724-438-5400. Ask for Mike to schedule a free consultation. Important for people to know that we represent injured people to the best of our ability and we've been successful doing that. And I don't say that to have people come to see us 
because we have been successful. I say that because it's true and it's important. Another important aspect is the experience that we have is local experience, experience in the court system in Uniontown, in Washington, in Waynesburg. Davis and Davis, Attorneys at Law. And we're back on the South Union Township Sports Network. Nick Barczak and Jerry Dupay, youth basketball in the fifth and sixth grade division. Blue against yellow in this one, blue up 2 nothing. Yellow ball. Rosendale. And that one's stolen away by the blue team. And here comes Carson Scott. Scott takes the three. And no good off the back iron. Had a good look, though. Rebound to number three. That's Nate Schwartfiger. Back to Carson Scott. Scott takes the off-balance shot. No good. Battle for the loose ball. Rebound to Vecchiola. Pushes it up the floor. Yellow team looking for their first points in this game. We've played just over five minutes. Rosendale to his right. Towards the paint. Throws up a wild shot. Out of bounds to Blue. Here's Nate Schwartfiger. Goes to his right. Into the corner to Scott. He's double teamed and throws up a pass that's stolen away by the yellow squad and Nico Vecchiolo. Bounce pass between the circles to Carter Rosendale. Off to Billy Barton. Back to Nico with a foul line. Off the block. Shot no good. Rebound to Aiden Barton. Some contact there, no call. Another battle for the ball. That'll definitely be a jump ball eventually. And we do have the thumbs in the air. And the possession arrow goes to the blue team. Nate Schwartz figured to bring it up with CJ Gesk on the bench. Blue team up 2 nothing with 4.35 to go in the first. Going baseline is Scott. Shot no good. Rebound by Rosendale for the yellow team. He's in transition. Throws up the shot no good. Defended from behind by Schwartfiger. Here's Patronus, and that one is good. Up and in for the yellow team. And Paxton Patronus, number eight. First field goal of the game for either team, and it's 2-2. First bucket of the game that didn't come from the uh, foul line. Rebound by Petronas, who gives it off to Rosendale. Aiden Barton. In the circles, Rosendale back to Aiden Barton. Vecchiola. And a reach and foul will be called. It'll go on the blue team's number four, Connor Kalich. Fouled Vecchiola and a substitution, two of them coming for the blue team. 3.34 to go before halftime. Game tied at two. So floor foul, so yellow inbounds. That inbound pass stolen away by Connor Kalich. And Gesk, who's uh, recently uh, just checked into the game after a short time on the bench, he's back in. That pass to Schwartfiger, and that shot comes up short. Rosendale, long pass down the floor to Vecchiola, and he saves it. A good save by Vecchiola, but out of bounds was Barton. I think actually Vecchiola was in, and then Barton try to grab it, but he stepped on the end line, so Blue gets the basketball back. Guess to bring it up. Yeah. 
baseline. That shot is blocked and out of bounds over to the blue team. They maintain possession. Inbound goes to Nate Schwartfiger. Shut off the mark. That was Kalich. Aiden Barton with the ball now for Yellow. Tries to give it to Vecchiola. Knocked out of bounds to Gold. With two and a half to go. 2-2 two -two ball game here before halftime. Billy Barton, back off to Carter Rosendale who tries to swing it into Nico Vecchiola but it's grabbed by Barton instead, Aiden Barton. And a held ball between Barton and Kalich. Another jump ball, the possession arrow goes to yellow this time. We'll have another held ball here on the inbound. That one will go to blue. And Arrow getting a workout here on this one. 2.05 to go on a rolling clock. 2-2 Two -two ball game, and here's C.J. Gesk over the timeline for Blue. Off to Scott. Swings it to Logan Halton. That three on the way, and no good off the back iron. Rebound Patronus. And we have a timeout on the gold team side. We'll have the ball when we come back with 1.38 to go before halftime. Game tied at two. Back with more action in the conclusion of this first half right after this here on the South Union Township Sports Network. Colon cancer is the second leading cause of cancer deaths. Signs include abdominal pain, and rectal bleeding. Colon cancer develops from a degenerating benign growth or polyp. Doctors performing colonoscopy are able to remove precancerous polyps, thus preventing colon cancer. This saves lives, and the American Cancer Society now recommends that everyone have a colonoscopy every 10 years, beginning at age 50. Doctors Ruth Hart, Calabrese, Stokes, and Ballou offer the latest diagnostic testing, SWGI, Specialists in Digestive Health. Southwestern Endoscopy Center is a state licensed and Medicare certified facility and emphasizes privacy, comfort, caring, and safety for colonoscopies and upper GI endoscopies. Painless procedures are done with twilight sedation given by a board certified anesthesiologist. The center accepts most insurance plans and is staffed by doctors Ruth Hart, Calabrese, Stokes, and Ballou. SWGI, specialists in digestive health. Sit right down and you hear a tale, a tale of a fateful call. You better pay those bills right now or you take a mighty fall. He really didn't know what to do, so we turned to those who did. Zeppli, Mahalo, and White, your bankruptcy crew, your bankruptcy crew. So no matter how deep in debt you are, if your back's against the wall, Zeppli, Mahalo, and White, just give them. And we're back here on the South Union Township Sports Network. Nick Barczyk and Jerry Dupay here in this fifth and sixth grade matchup. Youth basketball at the rec center. 138 before halftime. Game tied to two between the yellow squad and the blue squad. Yellow has the basketball near half court. Aiden Barton inbounds. 
to Carter Rosendale. Swings it to Vecchiola. Back to Rosendale. And a held ball between Barden and Gask in the Arrow goes this time to yellow. See if we can get a basket here before halftime. Either side. Good defense play there by the blue team. And number two, Carson Scott, who have a reach and foul. Goes on number eight, Owen Reed. Yellow inbounds on the baseline. Patronus. Catches the inbound pass. Down to 70 seconds to go before the first half is up. Rosendale to his right. Bounce pass to Aiden Barton. And it's taken away. Pocket picked by the blue team and in transition comes Carson Scott. Scott off to Gask. Beautiful little fast break play by the blue team as it was taken away by Carson Scott. Passed off to C.J. Gask who lays it in for two. And the blue team leads four to two. Only the second field goal of the game, first field goal of the game for the blue team. And a held ball will go to blue. We've had at least seven or eight by Mike Count unofficially held balls in this first half. Good to see. Aggressive play. and Blue team has the ball in a two-point lead. Pass to Kravoski. Back out to... Nate Schwartz figure with 30 seconds to go. Gesk throws up a jumper, no good. Offensive rebound. Here's Scott. That shot too strong, and Patronus will battle for the ball, and it'll go to Yellow on the held ball with 17.7 seconds. Yellow looking for the tie. Rosendale, Vecchiola back to Rosendale. That bounce pass is stolen away. Here comes Blue in transition. Pass to Gask is away and grabbing it is short figure who throws up a shot no good. Save is made, but time expires in the first half and we have reached halftime in this fifth and sixth grade game between the Blue squad and the yellow team. And right now at the half, Blue's on top, four to two. We're back with more action in the second half right after this here on the South Union Township Sports Network. You don't have to travel to Pittsburgh to get good representation. We've been doing it since 1976. We've been successful. We can help you right here at home. We know the nuances of the, of the legal system in Uniontown in Fayette County. We know the nuances of the legal system in Waynesburg and, 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 and in Washington. We know the system. We know where the courthouse is and we know where to park. And at our office, you can park for free. Davis and Davis. Attorneys at Law. At what point did everything change? When did service get taken out of service industries? It's too bad, because people are busy these days. At life, at work, at play. When it comes to your hard-earned money, you want service. Real service. From a person you know and a face you trust. At a bank where changing with the times doesn't mean leaving people behind. We're proud to be a part of your community. We're United Bank, at your service. Chessler's Furniture at 601 Pittsburgh Street, Uniontown has been in business since 1950 and has a wide variety of furniture for all of your needs. At Chessler's, they have a wide assortment of living room recliners, kitchen sets, bedroom mattresses, and accessories that can decorate your home for years to come. Choose from many companies, including Lazy Boy, Best, King Hickory, Hammery, Lancer, Wildwood, Von Bassett, and White Dove. Chessler's also services what they sell. Stop into Chessler's Fine Furniture, Route 51 north of Uniontown, and see Kim, Christy, Ted, and Rich. They'll be happy to help you with all of your needs. Chessler's Furniture, where customers send their friends. Hey 
And we're back with the second half of fifth and sixth grade youth basketball action. Second quarter underway. Yellow and the blue team here. Blue has a 4-2 lead as we begin the second half. And a reach and foul call to begin action by uh, number six on the blue side. That is Devin Kravoski. Floor foul, so yellow inbounds. Vecchiola off to Rosendale, whose shot is on the way. No good rebound, Patronus. Aiden Barton. And a reach and foul called on C.J. Gesk. Little grab there. So some early foul calls on the blue team here in the second half. That one knocked away and stolen by Kalich. Launches the three, and it's good. C.J. Gesk launching that three from the left wing. Nothing but net. Great shot there for Gesk, and he has six points tonight. Six of his team, seven, and the blue team now up seven to two. Comes yellow in transition. In the paint, here's Barton. That one taken away by Kayla, up to Gesk. Comes blue in transition. Pass up ahead to Kravoski, who's going to lay it in. Off the glass and good. Connor Kalich for two, and the lead's up to seven and nine to two. Good start in the second half for Blue, and that's travel on Rosendale. Blue gets the ball back with 9.36 to go in this game. And taken away by number five, Billy Barton. Barton will take the shot off the glass and good. Bucket good for Billy Barton. We have a ball game here. Yellow gets on the board for the first time in the second half. It's nine to six. Kravoski. That's a three or maybe a two, but his toe was... Just on the line, a long shot, no good. And back to yellow here in a three-point game. That one taken away. Jumper on the way, and that one good. The blue team's number two, Carson Scott, gets on the board to make it 11-4. to four. Now a six-point game, only four for the a yellow squad. So 11-4, and here's Vecchiola, who takes it in that shit on the way, no good. And a battle for the loose ball will go to the blue team as Vecchiola hit the deck card, along with Kravoski. Long three here, and no good. Good look, though, by Carson Scott. Out of bounds to gold with 7.59 to go. Blue team up 11 to four. And Rosendale directs traffic. Off to Barton, who swings it to Patronus. Back to Vecchiola, that shot no good. Gets his own rebound, goes baseline with it. Into the paint, he's fouled from behind on Kalich. And Vecchiola was shooting. And two shots coming for Nico Vecchiola.
First shot, no good. And the second shot, nothing but net to cut the game down to a six point deficit at 11 to five. Blue quickly up the floor and that one knocked out of bounds. By number five on the yellow side, that's Billy Barton. Good defense there and Blue retains possession. Scott back to short figure. Good pass into the paint. Shot off the mark though by Owen Reed. Ball saved but taken away by the yellow squad up to Vecchiola. Rosendale drives to the bucket and he's fouled on the floor on the way to the basket. That foul goes on number three for Blue. That's Nate short figure. Yellow inbounds. Blue team up 11-5 with 7.02 to go. Inbound to Vecchiola. Backs down as defender. Patronus, Rosendale. That pass by Barton, stolen away. Off to Carson Scott. Logan Halton. Has his pass stolen away. Yellow up ahead. Back to blue and Kalich. Quickly over the timeline goes an eight short figure. That jumper from the right wing is on the way no good by Scott. Out of bounds to gold. And Gask will come back in the game for blue. And getting a rest will be number two, Carson Scott. Blue team up six, yellow ball. Patronus. Barton, Billy Barton. Rosendale, good dribbling there as he finds Vecchiola who's fouled from behind on number eight, or by number eight, Owen Reed. Floor foul again, so yellow will inbound. Vecchiola's fouled again from behind on Owen Reed. That's Reed's second foul in about five seconds. Inbound again, this time under the basket or just to the side of it on the baseline. Trigger man throws it into Vecchiola who takes the shot and he's fouled in the act of shooting by Kalich. A little too much contact there and two shots for Vecchiola. Trying to cut this deficit a little closer. First shot good to make it 11-6. Second shot no good. And the rebound to the blue team. Gesk fires in a pass. Swung around to Halton, back to Gesk. Between the circles. Off to his right and finds short figure who goes baseline. And he's fouled. The shot won't go. I think it'll be a floor foul. I say he was shooting. So it'll be a shooting foul. Then two shots coming for number three, Nate Short figure. Shot up on the way and good for short figure to make it a 12-6 ball game. Blue team on top. No good, so we have a lane violation though. 
Someone entered the painted area before the shot was off. So the second shot off the mark and the rebound goes to the blue team. Baseline jumper, good, nothing but net. Knocked down by Nate Schwartfiger. He has two, three for the ball game. A bucket there extends the lead up to eight for the blue team at 14 to six with five minutes to go. Here's Aiden Barton. Good job to keep that ball past to Vecchiola and it's taken away from behind. Here comes Schwartfiger in transition for the blue team. Off to Gesk, takes the shot from the left wing. It's short in the rebound is saved by the yellow team's Rosendale. Blue retains. Blue team slows it down. Guess between the circles. Up eight with four and a half to go. Short figure. Gask. Down low to Kravoski, layup, he's fouled from behind on Vecchiola. And a push from behind and two shots coming for number six, Devin Kravoski. Nice Left-hander with the first shot, no good. Couple of changes for the blue team. And the second shot rattles home for Kravoski to make it a nine point ball game at 15 to six. See if the yellow squad has a rally in them here. Pass knocked away, controlled by Rosendale between the circles. Back to Barton. Just saves it before it goes into the backcourt. Patronus. Aiden Barton tripped there on the way to the basket. And a foul on Gesk. We're into the one and one portion here of the game. That's the eighth team foul on the blue team. So a one and one for Aiden Barton. As they get set properly on the line, blue, yellow, blue, blue, yellow, blue on both sides. And he was over the line there when he took that foul shot, so Basket disqualified. One and one try, no good on the first, so the ball out of bounds to the blue team. Guest takes the shot, no good on the three off the iron. He's already made one three in this ball game. Bounce pass baseline, knocked out of bounds to yellow. Rosendale barks out of play and he's over to Aiden Barton with the ball right side. Pass too tall for Vecchiola out of bounds to Blue. Short figure over to Gesk. At the foul line, Kravoski. Scott. Scott takes the three. Good look, but too strong off the side of the iron and the rebound to yellow. Gold, if you will. A pass taken away by Carson Scott, who keeps the ball. And the blue team has the lead 15 to 6 with 240 to go. Here in this one. Nate Schwartfiger. Good ball work there off to Gesk. Ball kicked. 
by Yellow. Blue and bounds. Good bounce pass by Gaskin. Good job by Kravowski to catch it. That shot on the way, and it rattles in. Got the shooter's roll there to Carson Scott. That one hit every part of the rim and fell through. And the lead for Blues up to 11 at 17 to 6 with 2.10 to go. Carson Scott has five points. Here's Gold. Aiden Barton at the foul line off to Vecchiola. Fade away jumper. He's grabbed by number four, Carter Rosendale. Vecchiola's shot off the iron. And the rebound controlled near the end line by number eight, Owen Reed. Blue team looks to have this one in hand and see where the last 123 brings us is Gaskoff to short figure. Kravoski, that shot on the way. Rebound Patronus. Who maintains and gives it off to Rosendale. Final 65 seconds. Vecchiola, Rosendale, guarded by Gesk. Double team on Vecchiola. Off to Barton, then Rosendale back to Vecchiola. Jumper no good, rebound Kravoski. Whistle and establish and play because of a foul on number seven on the gold team, Nico Vecchiola. So Blue has the ball for the final 40 seconds. CJ Gask taking his time. Short figure, Kalich, rebound Patronus. 20 seconds. Over the half court stripe, jumper, no good. Good save by Barton, but he was on the line over to blue with seven seconds. Seven, down to five. Blue over the timeline, down to one. And that's it, and that's all. That's the final sounder there, and the final score in this fifth and sixth grade game. A blue team win over the yellow team. The final score, 17 to six. Blue team beats the yellow team by 11 in this fifth and sixth grade game. And that's a wrap here from the South Union Township Rec Center. And tonight's game, was brought to you as a joint cooperative venture featuring township supervisors Bob Schiffbauer, Rick Vernon, and Jason Scott, Atlantic Broadband, Armstrong Cable, and our friends at CUTV. That's Gary Smith and their fine staff. I'm Nick Barczak alongside Jerry Dupay. Thanks for watching and listening. This has been a South Union Township Sports Network presentation. So long, everybody, here on the South Union Township Sports Network.